Hello, it's Coolio if you don't know, and we are playing Engine the Second Attack. Last time we were able to revive Brian, and he now appears to us as a special character. Very special in fact for the fact that he has 500 HP and 5 weapon power. Which is pretty darn amazing. Alright, so we're going to get through here, and we're going to do it right, I hope. Of course, I'm sure as soon as I said that, I went up the wrong staircase, but that's something that we will have to go through this tower and try to find out. Some more monsters over here that won't stop fidgeting and accept their death. Hmm. I find it kind of strange that bullets won't shoot across gaps. And maybe there's some sort of suction power that we don't know about, and that Megazooks at this time was too limited to show us. Or maybe they're just solid blocks. I don't know. And frankly, it doesn't really matter. So let's go through this thing. There's another staircase over there, but first I'm gonna look over here and see if there's anything that we missed. And it's another staircase! That is lovely. Choices! Let's go through here. Okay, get rid of these gloppies. Die! How much ammo? Oh, we have enough ammo. It is a mirror. Huh? Now that's interesting. Maybe these places... Hmm. Well, let's try it with different characters. Let's start with Kylie, I guess. How about Dan? Uh, how about AU? Uh, Miko? And Abby? Nothing. Okay, well, I guess we'll be back at this area later. Let's switch back to Brian here. Whoa! Here's another one of those areas. I don't know. Huh. There's an interesting fact over there. I wonder what that shall lead to in the near future, but for now it shall remain a mystery to us as we delve higher up into the Tower of Nameless. Now this seems to be some sort of console. And I seem to have stumbled upon the code on the first try. Well, that's just spiffy. That is freaking smurf. That's what it is. Alright. I'm getting rid of all these enemies. These are probably harmless, just really annoying. Now let's go up here. Let us see what is up here. Up in this location. Up on this floor. Door is locked with a symbol of Yugen. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a plant. My recollection kind of stays that Fuzzy Wuzzy was uh, most likely of the Ursin variety rather than the vegetative sort. I don't know. That's just me, but you know. The Rosebush. 
Okay, well I'm sure Brian would like a rose for uh, his little sweetie there. Wow. Oh. Feeling kind of hyper today. I don't know what's going on. Maybe now that I'm all rested up for a couple of days. Um, the joy of LP has returned and everything is working and I am a happy person. this? Not see anything. Are you a friend or a foe? Maybe now? No? Huh. Nepto's personal plans. Well, maybe if we use Kylie. She will be able to magic something up here. No? How Brian? Or Dan, or Abby. No, Miko. No, a you. No. I'll switch back to Brian, I guess. So that way is blocked for us at this time. We're going to have to find a different way. That's kind of an annoying glitch though. You pass by an object and it tells you a description, but you didn't actually touch the object, you just passed next to it. Well, it's like, eh, whatever. I wonder what these are though. There's no reflection, they're just kind of a blur, but none of my characters can affect it in any way. You probably need some sort of item. Ah! Monsters. Seriously, those don't really look like ravens at all. You seem friendly. Crystal needs a ruby ring. Let us attempt to find a ruby ring. Now what's this over here? The crystalline eye. Up, down, right, left. Well, that's where you find the code, but I just kind of stumbled upon it at complete random, just pressing buttons to my own will, and there you go, it worked. And sometimes you gotta rely on luck, cause there's only so far that pure skill can take you. Everything in life is partly skill and partly luck. You just gotta figure out how much of each that you need in order to accede to a victorious result. Alright, so cactus plant. Let's do the cactus dance. Alright, get some ammo. Ammunition's always good. And yeah, here's a save point. Uh, what is this part? Yeah, this is part 17, alright. Isn't it? Isn't it dangerous, Dan? Radiating, radiating its beauty against the sky. Lo and behold, another freaking pusher puzzle. It's just freaking amazing. Okay. And, um. Huh. Wait, oh, uh, this is it. Oh, more pusher puzzle. Push this over here. And I've 
block myself. That's just freaking great. Um, next time on Let's Play Engine the Second Attack, I'm gonna get through this place again and I'm gonna not fail as much and actually get through this pusher puzzle of doom. So, I'm cool if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh yes.